before he puts out his opening, before he actually throws out his move first. He's, you're not going to see him throw out a Hail Mary, you know? I mean, yet again, this is the second on the PR, so you can't really, <laughs> you, yeah. you can't really Former say number too one. much. Exactly. So the uh, the notion that this could be a pretty methodically paced game could very well play uh, play up. Then again, tight quarters tend to uh, tend to tighten tensions, and small battlefield being exactly that for game number one. Hitbox is coming out, and yeah, we're seeing a lot of shields. It might just come down to. Uh, who thinks to, to press the Z button first, honestly? Already 45%. I think I saw Yoda and Crits playing a lot of friendlies earlier, and I think, honestly, Yoda took a lot away from that, uh, realizing that Crits is, waits for his openings. And basically, Yoda, if you think about it, Yoda and Crits kind of play the same way. They kind of uh, throw out their opener. Uh, Yoda with the Mecha Koopa and Crits with the Zare, and they get their pretty insane 50 60 percent combos like yoda's already at 103 from like a two strings yeah it's pretty crazy no these are both incredibly smart players from what i can tell i mean even just like getting a glimpse of uh of crits right now you're seeing that you know th this everything's pretty well thought out not going to overextend themselves i mean even if they're uh even if there's potential for you know good combo they're not really going to put themselves out there all that much and indeed that uh, methodology is paying off as they're going to draw first blood in this game number one but Seeing right now, I mean, keeping range from that Nair, I'm liking what I'm seeing from uh, from Quits quite a bit. And really, it's just uh, sort of, it's it's sensible. It's not anything too crazy. Exactly. Quits uh, definitely realizes that Bowser Jr. is not somebody that he wants to box with. He's definitely realizing that um, if he makes Yoda come to him, he plays his game, that he's going to be struggling. As we see here, oh, the back air. That was a nice back air, though. You know, You're a true just, caster now. Congratulations. <laughs> Thanks, man. Anytime, brother. Oh, that was a F nice F-Tool. All right. The yeah, thing no. about Yoda, too, you can never really um, you can never really sleep on him. You know, he's always down. He's down Whoa. like 20 to 30. Already 73%. It's insane. It's, you, you look at Bowser Jr., you don't think a character that can do this much damage. This is like top-tier damage here. And it's insane. Oh. Just runs up and does the uppy. It's insane. Yeah, that's I was just saying earlier, like he doesn't throw out those hail mary moves. Right there, he just did it. And that's the whole thing with uh, with juniors of any sort. It's you know that they're not going to suffer from a lack of kill options, mm -hmm. and you know it's, it's the jab is the jab kills. Like if you get jabbed at ledge at a hundred, uh, like 120, 130 percent or so, you might just be dead. Like it's it. That's just the nature of the game. So when you're dealing with sh with stuff like that. And then I, Pretty sure we're esports, whatever. But <laughs> when you're dealing with stuff oh, like that, oh, and the spiky God. hitbox, that's not you're dealing with things though. like that, you have to take more risks, and oh that's something God. that Yoda Cage is certainly not afraid to do. But if you're being put in the position as the junior to have to put your body on the line, th then that's not really exactly a winning uh, a winning condition. And already full air. stock lead in the back air, almost killing Yoda Cage is going to be made to survive here. Oh. It's a grab on the up smash. Yoda Cage definitely holding his, uh, not getting too so worried here. Oh, and the up smash is going to take. Wow, that was really well played from Kretz. Wow. Yeah, I mean, hey, that's a statement game. Came in with the game plan. Uh, and the thing is that Yoda Cage picking up stuff from friendlies. Kretz can pick up stuff too. So we're going uh -huh. to take a look at that. Uh, I, I thought we were getting a replay for a second. That's all. All good. Only, <laughs> only Bryce can do replays. Uh, Bryce, if you're watching us in Puerto Rico, you know, go we're, ahead. We're and, thinking uh, about you, Bryce. Yeah. Oh, I, I love the custom music. Uh, I, I have some suggestions. I'd like to, uh, I'd like to suggest the entire soundtrack from Bomberman 64. Perhaps, <laughs> can that work? I feel like there's a whole. They got a list going. I remember we were talking about the other day of the uh, adding I, stuff to the mods, and they had like a whole list of music they had to add in. Yeah. Like the entire Undernight soundtrack. Um, honestly, right. it's weeps. My favorite thing about this setup too is the Bears PS2. It's it's absolutely beautiful to look at. It's, it, no, it's immaculate. I do love it. And Town and City to start off for game number two, give himself a little bit of a larger stage to work with, uh, not having to deal with the tight quarters of ZSS's aerials quite as yeah. much. And the hammer going right into the midsection of ZSS already 96%. Yoda Cage. Oh man, this is uh, you, you do not want to you do not want to anger the man. 
You definitely don't want to take Yoda to town. After watching a couple sets with Yoda, just say you don't want to take him to town. You don't want to let him go to town. Because the thing, he sets up, he drops the Mecha Koopa off down from the platform, and he gets his 100% combo, and you die it just like oh that. Oh, goodness. And just, just like that, you're down to stock. He only oh, took 40%. He's, he's yep. He's comes the Yoda cage. And the up air combos. <laughs> he is not like happy about is... that first game. Oh, no. I mean, this is... Uh... But this is the sort of thing that makes uh, is, is the difference between maybe you know someone who shows out in Arcadian and someone who performs at uh, at the PR level who is adaptation. Yeah, adaptation and making sure that you don't get flustered. It's not just knowing what to do, but having the wherewithal and perhaps the hunch for to wow. do it and the spin oh out right in the God. face of Crits, a critical hit on the part of Yoda Cage, and just like that, Crits down to their final stock. Wow, like. Yoda definitely took from that first game is that Crits, like, he's throwing out all these uh, Zares on his shield. And Yoda definitely took advantage. Like, he waited. He, look, he's waited. he knows exactly what he's going for now. The adaptation. This is definitely number two on the PR. Oh. You know he knows exactly what he's looking for. Just off of one game, he, he understands the yeah. mission. He understands the game plan. And forcing out the jumps with that uh, with that little bit of pressure off of the uppie, the exploding car. You don't want that happening in your face. You don't. Like, you can't just hope that your shield is uh, going to hold out. Eventually, boost kick That's into the corner, going to take that stock. It's at uh, a pretty uh, convincing loss, but it's still possible. I mean, it, it's, yeah, so we saw the first game. This one stray hit could even the game up right now. So I don't know. I wouldn't say it's over yet, but Yoda has been showing Oh, out by no game. means. Miscalculating on the knockback from that bomb, however. That's we my favorite thing about watching Yoda is watching him drop the bomb and seeing, like, he knows exactly every time he knows where it's going to go. I, I, I'll never understand it. It's absolutely amazing to watch. That's what a Drexel education will get you, my man. But <laughs> we're going he to paid see attention. the spin oh. out. Oh, my uh. goodness. Vehicular manslaughter on town and city. And you know what? Uh, you want to be? You want to two-stock me? I can two-stock you right back. And that's, again, the current number two in the city of Philadelphia. If I'm Crits, I definitely want to take this back to a smaller stage. I don't want Yoda to have his space to set up his Mecha Koopa. If anything, if he can go back to small battlefield, that'll definitely work for him. But I don't know. I don't know what Crits is really feeling here. I don't know. It's a matter of if uh, if Yoda will let that happen. And Yoda is has gotten up. And I'm not really sure exactly what the uh, what the situation is. He's not entered the backstage area. Walked off somewhere. Crit seems to be uh, relatively yeah. understanding of such. Mid set pop off. <laughs> yeah, you know. <laughs> he's a little. He's a little happy. Hey, you know. Hey, you know. Celebrate your victories. Screw it. Be proud of yourself. True. Oh, we got. Oh, please pick the Killer Instinct soundtrack. Do it. Do it. Oh, MVC. So, so oh my close. God. There's actually so much good stuff. Exactly, dude. I'm telling. It's insane. Oh, please, Robo Steam. Just have a repeat over and over again. I don't care. Paper Mario. Oh, yeah. I'm down. Bro, What's forget the commentary. Just throw this music on. I'm, I'm vibing. I'm going stupid right now. Do we have the uh, the, the Rock Hawk theme? I, no. I, I think so. There's a oh, lot on here. Oh, dude. I'd be down with Glitzville, too. Just... Listen, well, you have, like, tires getting slammed into the faces. New idea for the lab. If you ever win Bears, you get five song recommendations for the Switch. Dog. I think that would be pretty raw. That's amazing, except me, I get 10. So we, uh, look, they'll be good. It also might just be the Daytona USA theme 10 times in a row. Either way, Town and City. Interesting We're back choice to, Town and City. I to run it back. I don't know about this one. I mean, I, I don't know what the plan is here, but I can. Putting my trust in the crits. I mean, it. I definitely respect. Uh, it has to be. It has to involve some sort of shenaniganry on the platforms, but that, that that can't be it. Relying on that is not just is not the play. Yeah, exactly. I mean, especially since we saw what Yoda did last time. It's like whatever. Sh oh, you gave him space, man. You gave him room, and also you have those high ceilings that that's not going to play out to your advantage. Uh -huh. The short distance from uh, from ledge to blast zone that's certainly going to get that that's going to get you killed with jab at like 90 or something i don't 
It's like, oh, oh, oh really there we go. Nice back air. It's one of those things where it's like ZSS plays well on this stage, but like, is it worth letting Yoda play on top? Oh, like right there. Yeah. Is it worth letting Yoda play? I mean, Crit thinks so. So I mean, this game's pretty close so far, so I can't say too much. I mean, what when we see Junior played optimally, it's certainly not. Oh, oh, oh my goodness my gracious! God. Oh, oh, he's insane. He's a madman. Actual mad scientist here at the lab. Has the has Chris man. entered the Yoda cage? I don't uh, know. This he's, is he's trying. He definitely entered last game, but I think he's just narrowly avoided. Wow! You he armored the paralyzer. That's is that a, yeah. is that allowed? I no. mean, it is when you're uh, when you're Yoda cage. He put in his time against the SSs. Okay, he had to play against Juice. Like it's it's a thing. You get sure. grandfathered in at some point. Trying to get oh. the hit off of the. Off of the hitbox of exploding car. That's just so. Imagine you're at a deficit against Yoda, and he just takes does 87 because you made the wrong jump. It's just so so difficult to try to make it back. Oh, wait a second! And the cannon shot oh, into nice the go. back wow. air and the Holy. cannonball. Not only are you the dead, you're you. double dead. Yep. That's actually nutty from Yoda Cage. You will move on into top eight, playing uh, Joshathan Gamer in that round. That's um, a side to look forward to. Absolutely.